Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 Review and this is question 14D. We're supposed to provide a complete function. We're supposed to provide all the information, all the parameters for this particular function here. Rounded to the nearest hundredth where, where necessary. Okay, well, well we'll see what we can do here. Um, we already know parts of this. Okay, we're already aware of, of this to actually a fair bit of detail here. We're just going to fill in a couple things. I already know, for example, I know that A, based on, on my first question here, I know that A is going to be 2 and I know that D is going to be 9. So I know that this is going to be 2 sine of, and I'll, I'll deal with what's inside those parentheses in a bit here, this will be plus 9. Okay, now let's talk about the B value first. B is related to the period, and we've just determined that B is, is sorry, the period was 12 hours. So B, the period, should be 2 pi, but it's not. Our period is now 12 hours. So this is going to end up being pi over 6. Now, this particular question says that they want the answer to, to the nearest hundredth where uh, if necessary. Now, I, I don't know, I, I would prefer to leave it as pi over 6. Uh, I suppose we could point that, put this as 0 0.2, because it's approximately the same thing. But I would be more tempted to believe that as pi over 6. Okay, but that could, just, just so you know, that we could put in 0.52 based on the way the question was asked. Now, we need to figure out, though, what the, what the translation is here. And the trick to doing this is to basically look at this little sketch that we made in the previous question. We know that it is going to hit a low at 1 a.m. in the morning and that it hits a high at 7 a.m. But a trig function, a positive sine function, if, if you think back, and hopefully you've, you've got this memorized here, we know that if you were to put a box around it, it would start at the middle and it goes up and it comes back down, all the way down, and up to the middle here. But the important thing is it starts in the, in the middle of this motion here, and then goes up. So that, if I, if I kind of put my pencil and ride along this curve, that's going to be right here. Well, so how far over is that? Well, if the distance from here to here, horizontally, is six hours, and that takes us from the, the low to the high, then to get to the middle, that's only going to be three hours. So what would three hours over from, from 1 a.m. be? Well, it'll be 4 a.m. So this is going to be translated to the right, okay, because I'm moving this towards larger values, so to the right, 4 hours. And that's the function that we're looking for.